Hello, my well, hello! You are watching episode 27 of the Daily Decrypt. I am your host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $357. Supernet is $1.07. Made safe coin is one cent. And Counterparty is 97 cents. And today's episode is brought to you by Telebit. Microsoft has today announced that corporations using its Azure cloud service will now have access to BAAS. That is to say, blockchain as a service. And the blockchain at hand here is the Ethereum blockchain. Microsoft believes that their new service will allow their clients to, quote, play, learn, and fail fast at a low cost in a ready-made development slash testing slash production environment. So they expect private and public and what's being called consortium semi-private blockchains to be released, uh, to be developed by the Azure clients. And once they have been, these blockchain-based products will be distributed via Azure's own private system. Which begs a certain question. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. How would a blockchain fare on a private platform? Andreas Antonopoulos has today released a video lecture in which he opines on the answer to that very question. The lecture is called Bitcoin Security, Bubble Boy and the Sewer Rat. And in it, Andreas, who I realize today looks like Gru from Despicable Me during the lecture, likens software to children, saying that those which are exposed to germs develop immunity, and those which are walled off eventually grow weak and die. With interesting quips like, when you build Panopticon, it stares back at you, and Bitcoin is a swarm of sewer rats, the lecture is wrapped up with an equally interesting question and answer session. Bitbond is a peer-to-peer -peer lending market for Bitcoin. And when I say peer-to-peer -peer in this sense, I don't mean a serverless protocol, although that would be very cool, but rather it's a centrally served website which matches up borrowers with lenders. Now, Bitbond claims that they have successfully matched up over 1,000 loan instances thus far, and today they've launched an affiliate program in which referrers will be paid half of Bitbond's regular commission fee when people sign up using their affiliate link and take out or make a new loan. And I admit that I am also a sucker for Bitbond's marketing campaign. The Wall Street Journal's BitBeat section, and yes, apparently they have a section called BitBeat, Today reports that fiat to crypto trading company BitPesa is expanding from its current presence in Kenya and Tanzania to Nigeria and Uganda. You may remember that the Daily Decrypt reported on a certain person who coded a certain bot which successfully sends bitcoins through the BitPesa API and then tops up an M-Pesa account with fiat. Now, apparently, BitPesa does not want to advertise that their API has this capability. So it falls to me to tell you that a certain person simply combined already available open source tools to make the process happen. And anyone who has a BitPesa account can do it. Baby, my heart's on fire. The game Fallout 4 has been released today on Green Man Gaming. And I know nothing about this game, but I find it fit to be reported upon because apparently not that many people in the gaming community know that Green Man Gaming accepts Bitcoin for payment. So if you are the type who has been drooling waiting for Fallout 4, or really any of the other games on Green Man Gaming, gaming, a kind Redditor has posted this discount code, which will get you 20% off any purchase there this month. You know the moment. The moment when a friend or family member asks you how crypto works and you launch into a 20-minute technical explanation which nobody but yourself seems to grasp or even appreciate. The Nantucket Project can save you from these future moments of awkwardness as they have just released a three-minute overview of how currency works on blockchains and they keep it simple and snappy and short and it's easy to find. It's called Bitcoin in three minutes. 
and in case you've not heard of them, I would be remiss not to share Wu-Tang Financial. In my opinion, they are the most entertaining account on all of Twitter. Yes, even more entertaining than the Daily Decrypt's Twitter itself. How do they do it? Wu-Tang Financial tweets out GIFs and quips and memes which combine street smarts with high-level market terminology with an endless expose of crony capitalism. And they might even make you LOL. They do for me. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. And Yahoo for our sponsor, Telebit. Telebit is a new bot for Telegram users, and I personally would describe it as a super simple crypto wallet, which comes with a digital assistant, a digital butler. And currently, all Bitcoin transactions sent with the Telegram bot don't have to have fees attached to them. And this is because Trezor, Trezor the Bitcoin safe, is sponsoring Telebit and paying for all transaction fees there. And so at a time when it's taking almost 20 cents just to get into the next Bitcoin block, using Telebit for your transactions could actually save some serious money. So thanks Telebit, thanks Trezor. And finally, the Daily Decrypt is working on a new page which will combine our videos and Twitter feed and podcast. And so if you tumble, or even if you do not tumble, feel free to check us out at thedailydecrypt.tumblr.com. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal.